Hi, welcome back to I've Had Worse, and today I'm reviewing a Polish beer. Um, I've been very impressed with all the Polish beers that I've tried, um, and they just have some unusual flavours. Um, and some of the lagers we get in the UK are a bit samey. Um, so I am trying the Bowie. Uh, have notes. And this is the Bowie the Jawa Mocznia. I think the Jawa, and I'm really, hey, apologies, Poland. I think the Jawa is mature. Mocznia is strong. So mature, strong beer. It's a 7% by volume, comes in a stonking uh, 500 ml can. Uh, but on the front it has, um, and I'll put up a sort of a close up if I can get that there, um, of 14.2 extract by weight. Um, and I was thinking, it can't be a can of 14% because I think pretty much safe 7% over the other side. And that's to do with the amount of sugar that's used in the brewing process, but not necessarily how sweet uh, the beer is going to be. So let's just go for this one. And I, when the moment I saw this on the shelf, I had to go for it because another beer reviewer found it, I think a couple of years ago, uh, and he had a can of it that he'd found in an off license that was on sale, and he said it was the worst beer he'd ever tasted. Challenge accepted. But I have been very impressed with all the Polish beers. So we have a quite a dark beer for a lager. They all tend to be, or the ones I've come across are lager style beers. Um, so they all, so this is quite a dark, I would say amber. Chestnut. Amber to chestnut? Chestnut. Definitely. Chestnut. You want to go? We're going with chestnut. <laughs> okay. So we've got a pretty sort of creamy head that's staying around, sort of lacing the glass a little bit. Not much on the nose. Just the usual sort of bready, yeasty consistency you get sometimes. It's a little bit metallic. I did say I was going to stop drinking out of cans because I had come across a lot of metallic sort of hits on things, which I'm assuming is the canning process. Okay, cheers. Nice multi hit. There is, unfortunately, that little metallic hit to it. Slight burnt quality. I'm getting that sort of burnt, smoky quality to it. I don't know why I'm looking at the side of the camera. It's, it's all Polish. It's all in Polish. This is brewed in Poland. Um, and I was thinking sometimes they have a bit of an English translation uh, where you can, or English ingredients on the side, where you can see if it's malts and, um, or it contains, you know, um, glucose extracts and things like that. So it is a little bit sweet on the back end. But not overly sweet. There's no sense of alcohol. So this is a real, you know, this is going down very well and has that quiet lethality. Um, and I just cannot understand why someone would say that this is the most revolting thing that they've ever tasted. Um, I'm just not getting it. This is not bad at all. Again, all the Polish beers that I've tried, and they tend to be heavy hitters. Of the others that I've picked up, they're all six, six point, uh, six, a couple of 6.5, but I've tried... Um, Krapachi, which was a 9%. Uh, yeah, they're all pretty heavy hitters, and they're all fantastic. Um, they all, like this one, has a usually have a big multi flavour, which I really like. Um, and it just brings something to the party that I'm not finding in a stereotypical British lager. I mean, they are, some of them almost double the strength, and you could argue that if I went out and did uh, you know um, special brews and um, you know the orangey boot you know all those well yeah orangey boot's not best but you know if I went out and 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 um, 
looked for really strong British lagers, then I would have a, a similar pl flavour profile. God, slow on words. Um, but yes, excellent. Really am enjoying this. Mm. Okay, so if you're interested in these um, or any of the other Polish ones that I've done before, you're going to have to find yourself a good Polish delicatessen or a good off license with a range of European beers because I haven't seen a great deal uh, in supermarkets. So there you go. I hope you're enjoying these ramblings. Um, if you are, please consider hitting the like and subscribe and uh, be good to yourselves.